was really drawn to clothes and like that type of self-expression, but I didn't think it was going to be like a career path for me until I think I was applying to colleges. Yeah, I was so into like Avril Lavigne and like pop punk, like I mean you know me like back then in like sixth grade and shit, like I was just going to trash and vaudeville and I was like obsessed with like pattern pants and like just hot pink and like I just wanted to dress a certain way and so I think that that's like kind of when I was like really trying to like find my voice like I was just like I like this I'm gonna mix so many different patterns and like just like I don't really care like I definitely got made fun of but and now like, looking back I'm like what the fuck was I thinking like that's so weird like um, in high school I did costuming at LaGuardia like for the tech program and then that I remember one of my costume shop teachers, we had like the costume shop like by decades like around the room, like all of our costumes and like I remember him being like, yeah, but we're leaving the 90s out because like the 90s didn't bring anything to fashion. And I remember being like, at the time, like I was like obsessed with 90s fashion. I started watching like my freshman year of high school, I watched like the original um, Beverly Hills 90210 and I was like obsessed with like just like their jeans and like blazers and jeans, like a t-shirt and like Ralph Lauren kind of just like classic looks and I just was like that's what I want to look and what I want to embody. But then I just I didn't know what I wanted to do. I originally wanted to go to music production school just because I always I, and still to this day I'm like I wish that like that like held a bigger presence in my life but I definitely didn't know what I was doing. So I was just like I guess I'll go to fashion school like I know how to sew and like I wanted to stay in the city so I like ended up going to Pratt and I think it was like then that like I really started to like, think about like fashion and but I still like have a very weird love hate relationship with it. Like I feel like I view it more as like an artist than like I don't even want to be considered a designer just because I think it puts you in a little bit of a box. But what was nice about Pratt it was like, you know, you had to take like art history classes and you had to take all these foundation art classes that I feel like set you up to be an artist first instead of just like being like this designer and they put you, you know, through the like to like corporate fashion kind of thing. It's more just like see it as like an art piece and just be creative with it. But also you do have to make it wearable because it is like the body. So it's like you're working your own body. And I mean my freshman year like art history class was really like a big thing for me. I remember like learning about the Bauhaus and the style movement and that was just like I think where to this day like where a lot of my inspiration comes from. Mm -hmm. The boxy right angles kind of just like oversized like really interesting just structures and like buildings. Architecture is a huge thing for me too. I don't know, I love, obviously I love like gridded things and I did my thesis for at Pratt on like, yeah, I called it city grid and it was all about like the understructures of building which is like all that like too. It's always like that gridded wire and you've definitely seen it. It's like, I don't even know what the actual name is, but it's like that wire, kind of gridded metal and like they put on the foundation of buildings and also like the fact that the city is built on a grid and it's like that's just a big part of like the New York structure I think and in terms of architecture and sculpture as well and I just I don't know why I love squares and rectangles and like geometry and that's sort of why but for me something visually like even like looking at like these windows and things it's like they're just the balance of it is super like aesthetically pleasing to me. I do, like, so I do a small run of production with a factory in Industry City. Um, I've been working with them for years. They were used to being Gowanus, and, like, I'll do all of the, like, sample work and all the patterns and all that stuff myself, and then I'll give it to them, and they'll be with the fabrics and everything, and they'll do the production of it. So when I'm, it's in production, I kind of have a lot of downtime, so I'm, like, waiting for things to be made. So that's, like, kind of when I'm, like, okay, like, now I'm going to have time to just, like, draw or paint or like experiment in other mediums that I didn't really have the time to do so it's which is nice because by the time I'm done doing that and the work comes from the factory or whatever then I'm like excited to be back working in the clothing realm I guess. I remember looking through this Rodenko book where he like he's a painter and he like made a bunch of his own outfits where he like made all these jumpsuits and like a lot of the Bauhaus artists did that as well so I was kind of like it's really nice to see visual artists not just like being the help to one medium, you know, and that's kind of where I see myself too, where it's just like, it's all self-expression and it's all just like coming from the same place. It doesn't really matter what medium it is in. So it's like, I'm, I'm mainly making clothes, but it's like, 
you know, I want to make clothes today, but tomorrow I want to, you know, I don't know, paint or draw or, you know, make, take pictures or make movies or cook. Like, cooking is a huge thing for me too. And like, you know, DJ or like maybe I get into music at some point, but it's all just like coming from the same, like, mental place. I feel like I'm trying to create, like, it's like my lifestyle. It's almost like I'm trying to articulate to people the visions that I have in my head. And it's like, obviously, like, if I had way more space, way more money, way more time, like, I feel like I could fully express that in a way better way. Like, at some point, I would love to have, like, a storefront and, like, just have it just be, like, a full different experience where it's, like, people coming in. It's, like, maybe it's a restaurant also, you know, and it's, like, and the tablecloths are made by me and there's, you know, you can buy the clothes or, and I'm going to take a ceramic class soon. Um, and it's a place down on Columbia Street, so I was, like, I want to make, like, the plates that you're eating on. Like, I just want it to be like a full like experience where it's like oh like that I'm stepping into her world basically and it's like you can't do anything but just like experience that.